See from the video, there was absolutely no one there to monitor the movement of Robert Christman just before he left the Armstrong County Jail. Now, this video was released to us late this afternoon by the district attorney. They also entered DNA evidence from the murder. Early morning, July 30th last year, prosecutors say this is Robert Christman walking into the view of an outside surveillance camera at the Armstrong County Jail. He just completed a work detail as a jail trustee. Next, he constantly checks his surroundings, and then he walks off the jail grounds. Investigators say shortly after that, Chrisman arrived at the home of 55-year-old Tammy Long and Terry Slagle. It is there where he allegedly beat Long in the head with a toilet tank lid and then strangled her with a shoelace. It was entered into evidence today, and a forensic scientist said during testimony there was blood all over that shoestring. A state police DNA expert tested several items at the murder scene. Blood in the bathroom matched Tammy Long's DNA. So did blood on the shattered toilet tank lid. Also, the bloody shoelace used to strangle Long matched her DNA. And a blood-stained T-shirt was also a match. It also matched Chrisman's DNA as well. Investigators suggest the T-shirt was worn by Chrisman while he allegedly carried out the murder. The prosecution is expected to rest in this trial tomorrow morning, and then the defense will bring on witnesses on Robert Chrisman's behalf. But he is not expected to take the stand, and this trial is expected to go to the jury tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live from Armstrong County, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.